I haven't drawn any detail on the bird because the masking would have lifted it up anyway. So I'm going to tone the bird by putting the reflected color that I see on his chest. I don't want a hard edge, so I just add clean water to soften it up because I'm working on dry paper. Now I'm going to put a wash over most of the shadow area. There's not much white on this bird, but I can see that he's darker in the back. His tail is black, so I can start with a fairly dark wash back there. It really helps if you can get more of your values the way you want them before you start painting your detail. See, now I'm going to add a little bit more water to that same wash. I went ahead and drew in my detail. Now I do keep the areas that I know I'm going to want white, right up on his head. That's about it. So now I have a toned bird and I can start painting. His tail is going to be completely black. And I'm putting in some of the dark shadows. I'm working on dry paper so it gets kind of hard edged. And I want it to be a little softer smudgy edges. So I'll end up painting this two or three times. What I do is get my detail on there and then just touch it with a damp brush to soften most of it up. I'm pretty careful about getting the detail where I think it would be on the bird. It's not just random dots. So now we have a soft bird in the medium values. I can see, comparing it to the photo, I need to dark up the reflected area. Put the black on his beak. By painting a darker value over my detail that I have, letting some of it show through, I can get a nice realistic effect. There's also a lot of that brown around his eye. I didn't notice that at first. You never see anything until you try to paint it. You can see I'm still saving the white. Now we have a lot of middle values and we need some real darks. This detail goes on several times. So I have some with hard edges and some with soft edges. A lot of people think I paint something once and I'm done, but it's more a matter of adjusting the values. You can see I need a few more darker values in his feathers. Not quite a black. This will dry a little lighter than the tail and the beak. Put it back in. Soften it up. Put in his eye. Now I'm done. And that's exactly how I paint a seabird on the beach.